today I'm going to show you how to use buttercream to create flowers on top of your cupcakes. So you can see I have my cupcakes baked nice and um, they have a nice beautiful round top to them. So that's going to be the perfect base for our flowers. And I have some beautiful colors of buttercream. I have purple and white kind of blended together, yellow, white, and pink. Um, so using different tips, I'm going to show you how you can achieve different results. So first, I'm going to start with probably the most complicated, which is a little kind of rustic looking rose. So you can see I'm using a tip that's almost like a teardrop shape, but very rectangular. That's going to let me build my leaves. So what I'm going to do is hold my cupcake in one hand and start in the middle and just push my frosting out. And you want your frosting to be nice and cool so that it's really holding its shape. You can see already we kind of have the bud in the center of our rose. And what I'm going to do is slowly build leaves or petals around the base. And you can see when I'm doing that, those beautiful petals are just coming right out and I'm just pulling and building all the way around, just little leaves. And this is very kind of rustic and fun looking and very easy to do. If you're looking for a more complicated rose, can get into that, but you know, such an easy design and it really creates a really fun, beautiful look. So that's really nice. And you can see how quickly we did that. A very easy rose. If I wanted to add leaves, I could just go in and take a bag without a tip and just lightly make a little bit of a V. You can see I'm going in one direction and then in the other to make a V shape. And what I'm going to do is just kind of push my frosting and pull and let it fall off. And that's a beautiful, easy leaf. You can do a couple more of those if you want. Just let it kind of fall off the edge. Really fun. So that's number one. So we're going to get a little, a little more fun than that. We're going to move into some pansies. And you can see I took my frosting and I'm looking for a two-tone design. I just put a big sploosh of white in on one side and a kind of big amount of purple in on the other. And I'm using a very similar tip to my rose. You can see it still has that same teardrop shape. This one is just a little bit smaller. But what I'm going to do is, again, lift up my cupcake and I'm going to go in this direction. And you can kind of just create leaves and move all the way around. And you can see as I push, it kind of pushes out and makes these beautiful two-tone flowers. You can kind of go in the middle and just fill it in a little bit. Very easy and kind of fun design. 